Now, this course does not expect any prior Go knowledge. It is a course for absolute Go beginners. You don't have to know anything about Go to take this course. You also don't have to be an expert in any other programming language, but this course might not be for you if you never worked with any other programming language before, simply because Go has a couple of um, things, a couple of features that can be a bit more difficult to pick up if you're getting started with programming than you, for example, have it with Python or JavaScript, which are more beginner friendly. Therefore, for this course, I actually do recommend that you pick up some basic programming knowledge first. You don't need to be an expert or advanced user, but some basic knowledge is recommended. And throughout this course, I will also sometimes show you how the equivalent to some Go code would look like in Python and or JavaScript. Not because you need to know Python or JavaScript for this course, but simply because I know that a lot of people will start with Python or JavaScript development. And if you are then taking your next step into Go, it might be helpful to see how some code would look like in Python or JavaScript. If you know neither about Python or JavaScript, but you have some basic programming language from some other language, that is fine as well. You absolutely don't need Python or JavaScript knowledge for this course. It's just a little helper for students who already have those basics in those specific other languages.